Hi guys, welcome to Simproved, Fry speaking here, and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. Today we are going to build this huge mermaid castle. It's gonna be super fun, with lots of corals, just looking as if it just surfaced out of the water. And the interior design is gonna be super underwater-like, with sea kelp and fishes and weird little plants. And it's gonna be super fantasy-like and fantastical, and I hope that you're gonna like it. So, without further ado, let's Let's get started. So since this is a mermaid castle, a mermaid build, of course we are going to use the world that introduced mermaids to us, which is Island Living and the world is called Solani. So if you have the Island Living expansion pack, you get mermaids and your sims can become mermaids and not become mermaids and be friends with mermaids and friends with dolphins and all that kind of jizz. I'm not a huge fan of mermaids myself, maybe a sea witch since I'm more of a horror fan, but this is also the reason why this mermaid castle is like a really late mermaid build because lots and like I mean tons of you have asked me in the comments to build a mermaid castle. So here it is guys. It took me some time to finally come up with an idea for that. That is fun for me. And I really hope that those guys who always want to see a mermaid castle really like it. And if not, then write it in comments as well. So I know how to improve on that because I'm not a mermaid expert here, of course. And I've seen a lot of other mermaid builds, of course, on YouTube and on the gallery and on Tumblr and Twitter and you know where all these some awesome sim builders out there share their amazing creations and i just thought okay can i even come up with something that nobody has done before <laughs> i'm not sure so i started with a wake idea how a mermaid castle should look like since i'm not an expert i don't watch super like a lot of mermaid builds and like gameplay and movies and series I, it's just I, mermaids are just not my thing i guess they are pretty but they're not my favorite fantasy creature i guess you would always see me watching vampire horror ghost werewolf movie movies or something like this so it was kind of, of course very distinct how a mermaid castle or how an underwater kind of castle should look like there was some inspiration by disney for example and a lot of other builds and other movies which i all looked up on google and they all kind of share these really round towers and different widths and I thought, yeah, it looks kind of more natural like this, as if it's built out of or like washed round from the water. Or like a little bit more biologically grown maybe, because that's something that I thought is like a cool idea, that this whole castle is maybe made out of the whole coral reef or some are made out of corals and stones that are on the water. And then I came up with the idea to make it look and decorate it with lots of corals from the show live edit objects <laughs> cheat debug menu objects whatever it's called because we get some cool corals that are in the sulani pack and you can finally use them here as decorational points and i thought okay maybe it is underwater usually and now it just upmerged submerged surfaced whatever from the water and this is what I wanted it to look like. So there's going to be lots and lots of corals on that and uh, yeah, lots of stones and lots of fishes and sea kelp and all that kind of stuff. And I really wanted it to look kind of very special, fantastical. So this also took me quite a while to decorate. I think I built this in, I think 10 hours. Like my whole recording was just eight hours. And I know that off camera I did lots and lots of decorating as well because it's a very, very boring and almost meditating kind of thing. Like you, yeah, you need patience for that. But yeah, it's going to be really beautiful. So we're going to cross the line of production design a little bit here. So screw architecture. We are just looking at production design, set design, something like this. Um, cartoons, a lot of cartoons. Which is also why I first chose the color theme here with blue and, you know, purple because this is like the color theme that you can see on lo lots of mermaid pictures and I just thought, hey, if it's a mermaid castle, I'm not sure what mermaids are all about, but apparently this is what you need. And then later on we will 
yeah change it into a sand kind of color because I wanted it to make out of like the ground of the ocean which is sand and stone so this is what we're going to do here and then the pops of color are like you can see already the debug objects the corals the corals the corals from the island living expansion pack and I just thought hey why not stack lots and lots of them into this castle to the roofs and all that kind of jizz and i thought uh jizz i think you say jazz oh my god did i say something wrong i'm so sorry english is not my first language so sometimes i do really weird mistakes when i'm talking that was especially awkward when i went to ea play because ea invited me to ea play and sometimes i just you know brabble around and i say things that make sense in german so i kind of translate my German, what I want to say in German, into English, and as I speak, I just realize how dumb that all is because you know, phrases and stuff is just very different to ours. But yeah, sorry for that. <laughs> Write me in the comments when I say something wrong because uh, this YouTube channel is also for me to learn a little bit more of English. And I, as I've seen in lots of other comments, other people are learning English through my videos as well, which is super weird because I still think I have a very German accent, but. Well, if you can understand me, this is so cool. Hello. Hi. <laughs> but yeah, so in the builds, we are still at the exterior decorating. It was, yeah, like I said, stacking lots of stuff onto another stuff. And then when I thought, okay, this is not enough, let's just put on more stuff. And this is basically what I did here. I will put lots and lots of these corals from the debug objects from the debug menu in there. And I think they were so super colorful that later on we are going to change the wall color here to a solid sand color so it doesn't stick out that much because I think the blue one it just looked like color wise very hideous but yeah for those mermaid super mermaid fans is there something that i've missed please stay tuned till the end and look at the interior design especially because i wanted to have you know the best mermaid build ever but since i'm not like this huge know-it-all about mermaids <laughs> I hope I didn't do any mistakes because somebody said, for example, and I'm really angry about this person, that mermaids, for example, in the game will become sad if they see the wall mounted lionfish that I put, of course, in over the entrance of this castle. And I just thought, it's my lionfish. It's our mascot of this channel. It's my lord and savior. He's our god here. And of course I have to put him somewhere. So he is in front of the entrance. But I've heard that game-wise in The Sims, when you play with a mermaid, they get sad. And so I'm, I'm okay with you deleting him. But still, <laughs> it's the lionfish. How could you? <laughs> But yeah, um, I really hope that you like this build and of course I still hope that you love and pray to our Lord and Savior, the Lionfish. Blessed be his fin. So um, you can see me putting in lots of the jungle adventure wall greenery. I don't know what it's supposed to be. It's like a jungle kind of fern thing. And it looks like sea kelp that is uh, on the you know, under the roof, so I thought that looks really, really cool as if it's just submerged from the... Upmerged? Submerged? I still don't know what it's called. Uh, from the water, and we are going to use it in the interior here as well. So I started the interior with the main hall entrance kind of foyer thing, and this is going to be the living room. And yes, it's a castle, and I know, like, I get so many... I wouldn't say it's complaints, but it's like a tip or like a wish that people have. When they have a castle in The Sims, they always want to have a ballroom. So don't be angry with me because there is technically a ballroom. It's it's a nightclub, so there's like a, like a dance floor and stuff, but it's going to be upstairs. So this is the living room area. Just thought it makes more sense. And I found so many cool objects that fit the whole underwater theme. So what I wanted to do in the interior design, as you can already see, it shows like a color theme that is basically green and blue, lots of fishes, lots of kind of neon touches from the debug objects and from some neon lights. And basically everything with a fish on it was game here. And I put this everywhere. 
So this is what we're going to do here as well. And later on, really, really later in the build, I will change the light color to blue and like aquamarine. So it really looks as if you're underwater. Um, objects that really help me to make it look underwater is a standing lamp from the luxurious party stuff or whatever it's called. That's like the most senseless stuff pack ever. I think I don't use that much like stuff from that stuff pack but this lamp just looked like sea kelp and i could put it everywhere as a lamp and it really basically helped me to light up this whole build a lot and yeah thank you sims team for that lamp <laughs> if you have that in your game you can use it in all the underwater builds and also a really like sims fans the real mvp sims fans will of course see the flowers from strangerville which is basically i don't want to do i want to spoil the whole thing no i'm not going to spoil it so if you don't have strangerville there's like something going on in strangerville this is like the whole sale point of this pack and yeah stuff from that is also hidden or not hidden it's actually in plain sight throughout because it looks like an underwater plant as well and i thought that's like really cool and i need that because it also moves in life mode and kind of flows as if it's like underwater and i just thought oh my god this is cool i need this so basically what we are going to use a ton here is the fish wall decor from dine out it looks like little fishes and I put it everywhere because that they're fishes and uh, we are going to use the fairy lights from parenthood because they're blue and they kind of look a little bit more like uh, sea bubbles I guess uh, especially when it's dark uh, they kind of look like sea bubbles and we are going to use lots of aquamarine and blue colors the sea kelp lamp which is officially the sea kelp lamp now and lots of the city living I don't know what it's called but I would describe it as a marble ball uh, curtain or something I think it has like a real name but not sure um, but yeah this also looked a little bit like fish scales and is in the curtain section and I use this here a lot and then of course lots of the debug objects like I said I think they're going to be let's see six bedrooms maybe five I'm not sure but they're all usable your sims can sleep in all of the beds and since it's all so highly decorated it, it took me so much time to yeah do the interior design basically it's repetition all over because it's doing i'm using lots and lots of the same objects i sometimes change the bed or the arrangements of stuff because i really wanted it to look as if it's underwater but yeah, this is basically the whole thing here. And here we can see over the bats, and uh, this is something that I found out later, the wedding arch from Solani, from the Inet Living expansion pack looks amazing. And I wanted it to have over the bats, so it kind of is like a canopy bed. And I just thought it looks so beautiful, we need that. So this is what you're going to do here a lot as well over the baths to see these wedding arches a lot and yeah there are three bathrooms so with a shower a toilet and a sink and i don't think you will see them here in the video because i cut them out a lot and usually i don't want to show you guys how i do my bathrooms because they're super boring but yeah just write me a comments if you really want to see them some have said that they really want to see how i do my bathrooms but these don't look special because they're really really small and there's like just yeah just a toilet just a shower like there's nothing as decoration on there because it's really small it's like a one octagonal room and i just copied it all over so we have three bathrooms and oh yeah this is something that i wanted to do here as well since the ceiling in the sims 4 is always white a plain white uh, and it drives me nuts that if you do the video tour and you know look at the build from from the inside you have this white ceiling and it doesn't fit at all uh, I will put lots of the star decoration from seasons I think it's supposed to be a frost fest or like Christmas like decoration I just thought okay maybe these are floating sea stars I mean I know that they just, just lie around on the ground but this one these ones are floating okay they can fly <laughs> they can swim so these are like super sim stars 
fish starfishes oh this is what you call them star sea stars starfishes something like this yeah um i'm also sorry if i don't know any fish names except the lionfish name so i'm sorry for that by the way for those who don't know in german we call like liter literally translated the lionfish is called firefish because it really stinks if it uh if it stings you it really hurts <laughs> like fire i guess and yeah basically this is what we do a lot oh and also shout out to the city living i think it's a city living rug it looks like koi fish and waves because we are going to use this here a lot as well because yeah it just looks amazing here you could already see the kind of dance floor thing with the bar and you know so basically this is like the hangout room where your mermaid friends can like dance and hang out and i don't know what mermaids do all day they sit on stones and sing to seamen or fishermen right i mean that's what i do all day um here they can dance because i just needed some acti activities here activity wise there will also be an easel or lots of easels so your mermaids can draw on the water <laughs> i don't know aquarelles hey watercolor uh what a pun but yeah um and also there will be a bubble blower i think this one came also with the city living expansion pack it's basically a shisha or as you would call it a what's the english word for it um a hookah bar hookah a hooker a hooker i think hookah pipe thing yeah which i actually like a lot in the game because your sims get a little bit tipsy when they when i use it <laughs> which is really really fun but yeah basically here you can see me doing like all these bedrooms i'm sorry if my commentary is not on fleek today which is actually never is but since it's all repetition all over with all the objects um i'm really sorry but you can see for yourself that i just put in lots and lots of these objects and later on uh, we changed the color of the lights because I really wanted it to look as if it's underwater So we will change the lights in life mode You can go into life mode and tell your sim to change the intensity and color of every light of the room Which I did here. So we will use blue aquamarine and purple sometimes and I think both bathrooms or all bathrooms are pink or red Because I just thought that's like a nice contrast, you know when the light is glowing outside into the aquamarine colors so we have like different kind of colors but yeah um this is like a cool trick that i could recommend to you to use if you do these underwater themed things i also use this trick a lot for horribles because there you really have to go low on the colors and you know intensity of lights to, to make it look a little bit more mysterious but yeah this is basically what you can do a lot to spice up a little bit more of your builds and here we are in a video tour already so yeah this is uh, the coral castle i actually like that it looks so fun and colorful from the outside and not so you know pretty pink kind of castle i think it looks really really distinct and kind of beautiful it is definitely something i have never built before and i really hope that you like this style even though it looks kind of quirky and fun you know more of a fantasy build definitely a fantasy build don't get me wrong and yeah i'm really happy how it turned out because it looks so special and i haven't seen anybody else building it like that you know since there are so many other mermaid castles here we are in the interior design which is really cool definitely when you change the color of the lights it looks so much as if it's underwater so that's super super cool and by the way there's no stove because uh, i mean spongebob maybe can grill burgers but your mermaid is not allowed to use a stove no just kidding you can put the stove into the kitchen of course and yeah basically i really love how the debug corals kind of have this neon glow especially in that kind of lighting so this is something that's super fun and i just thought it looks super super cluttered very underwater very fun something to um, you know discover if you like walk around with your sim in first person mode for example and yeah if you want to download this it is up on the gallery for you guys so you can grab it there and put it into your game and play with your mermaids and i will post the link into the video description as always and for those who usually can't do it and rebuild it in the sims i will post some of the 
layouts for you so you can maybe recreate this whole thing with your objects that you own and have of course so here we go and yeah this is basically the whole build guys i really really hope that you like it please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and especially if you are into sims 4 builds please write me in the comments down below what i have to build next for you and i will choose among the comments what i will build next of course and yeah that's it thank you so so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.